Hi, I'm Banjo Joe. Welcome to the Banjo Joe Show. So, I know uh, there's a lot of a lot going on right now with the uh, pandemic and uh, trying to keep safe. You know, we stayed home for two months. Just went out for essentials. I went out and uh, we didn't work. I started, you know, opening everything back up and we started gradually going out and doing things and being outdoors, you know, being spread out and everything. We feel totally safe, wear masks when we go in the store, uh, hand sanitizer at the gas pump and all that stuff. We wash our hands, we got our sprayer in the van, so wash our hands and just keeping our distance and being safe and uh, we don't feel, you know, any danger traveling as long as we do everything safely and uh, take all the precautions, you know, we're we're responsible people and uh, we care a lot about uh, everybody else. You know, we don't want to harm anybody and we are travelers and free spirit people. I mean, we're, we're semi-nomadic and that's our way of life. So uh, we stayed home for a couple months and now, you know, everything's opening up a little bit. And we're doing, we feel like we're doing everything safe. And we're not germaphobic, you know, we're, uh, we respect germs and realize their place here, you know, in the planet. Disease, you know, has been around forever. So we're gonna wash our hands. We're gonna wear masks. We're gonna keep our distance from other people and uh, show some respect and enjoy the outdoors. You know, there's no better place to be. I'd rather be out here than on Facebook. I know that. No kidding. If you want to get stressed out, just go read the comments over at Facebook. <laughs> Town River restaurant. We just ordered some catfish. It's on the Ohio River over in Elizabethtown. And we called our order in. Danielle's gonna go in and get it, I think. But, uh, there it is, floating restaurant. So they gave us extra baked beans. Yeah, it's big the thing night. of baked beans because it's the end of the night. All right, all right. That's good. That's probably the good, the bottom part of the beans, you know? Yeah, yeah. So what are we gonna do, Danielle? Um, I don't know. I mean, there's dining up there. People out there, though. Uh, there's also a picnic table up there. Uh-huh. Let's go uh, up there. You want to go up there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is that cool with you? Yes. Just drove right up the hill to uh, this little pavilion here. And this is a pretty cool spot up here on the Ohio River. Nice breeze. Yeah, it's a... Elizabeth Town's got this old uh, historic hotel, the Rose Hotel, and just up the street there is the uh, courthouse. And the cool thing about that is where, that's where you can uh, leave your car if you want to through hike the river to river trail. That we did that back about a year ago, and this is the uh, trailhead. This is the uh, eastern terminus. It starts here in Elizabeth Town, goes all the way across southern Illinois to the Mississippi River in Grand Tower, and uh, this is the Ohio River side. So here's the sign. This is where all the uh, trail hikers start the river to river trail. And we, we, we section hiked it, but we started here and hiked to uh, Garden of the Gods, I think, the first leg we did. Uh, we were doing like 20, 30 mile uh, segments. So anyway, pretty cool up here. Uh, the Ohio River, and this is the lower Ohio too. This is the Smithland Pool, and they regulate the uh, water level, so it's kind of like a uh, more like a lake. But, uh, there's the river restaurant down there, and uh, you can eat, you can dine there. We're, we're going to get up here because there's there were some, some people dining outside, and we just didn't want to crowd anybody. So, uh, but it's kind of funny when a barge goes by, it starts rocking the restaurant. You have to like grab your drink and hold it because the tables and everything start rocking with the waves. So let's check out this catfish that we just got. Yeah, look at that, fried catfish. And oh, they, it comes with slaw, potato salad, and 
And beans. Beans. Okay, so they just ask you what potato choice what you potato want. What potato you want, We chose yeah. potato salad. We also chose um, we dessert. Ooh, apple pie and pecan pie. Cool, so we got dinner and a view. The restaurant down there on the Ohio River. Pretty cool. The Statue of Liberty over here. <laughs> Tower Rock, and we just had that delicious catfish over at E Town. And I think we're gonna go down here on the Ohio and uh, throw out some lines and see if we can hook a catfish out of here. So we can have catfish again. <laughs> okay, so cutting some Y sticks uh, to hold our poles up while we fish. We're tight lining for catfish, so just trying to find a forked stick here. There's one. Stick this in the mud. Now we're gonna put some turkey on here. The raccoon didn't run off with it yet. Man, there's something about Southern Illinois, the bugs, you know. We're in, uh, we're right on the Ohio River and the Mississippi River. Uh, is nearby. This is where the Ohio goes into the Mississippi and uh, they call this the interior lowlands and it is the bottom. You know this is the drain of the country over here and it is swampy and buggy and beautiful. You read some of the pioneers accounts when they settled in Illinois and uh, there was a lot of talk about flies killing their livestock. Enough flies to kill a horse down here. All right, fishing in the Ohio River. catching any fish so we might go try to catch some disease. Okay. <laughs> I'm staying up all night. And now I'm too tired to clean a fish. I don't want to clean a catfish right now if we did catch one so why why keep fishing, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Unless we want to just take it up there and put it in the fridge hole. Oh man. Just kidding. Good morning, good people. Barge traffic is busy this morning. We're at the Ohio River. Didn't catch any catfish last night, but it was still fun to see the moon and the river and just hear it rippling along. It rained most of the night, but it was pretty pleasant sleeping in the rain. I like it. Barges are on the way today. Three barges? Yeah, I noticed barge traffic was heavy. It's a mighty river, the Ohio. Look over here to the left. That's what we heard flopping. Think so. I bet. Big one. He is big. Mm -hmm. His teeth. The long nosed gar, alligator gar have a really short snout that really looks more like an alligator, you know? That long snout is a long nosed gar. And the scales on those things uh, were used as arrow tips by the Indians, you know? So they're really, they've got armor on. <laughs> cool find, Danielle. Ooh. That's just what we needed is a fish skull. <laughs> Go with your turtle shell.
Joe likes pretty things too. I do. I do. That turtle shell you brought home from laying between the lakes. Uh, it's beautiful. It was smelly, but it's worth it. And uh, we're going to get this fish head too. <laughs> there we go. A little vine growing on it. One person's trash is another's treasure. Yeah, I got a bite left. <laughs> <laughs> Pie for breakfast, and then we're going on a hike, so let's go check out Tower Rock. We got the Max Air fan on, the window's cracked, and we're going up to Tower Rock. Bugs. My favorite. I saw this uh, post on the Shawnee Forest Facebook page where the volunteers have put this new sign in. Oh, yeah. I just saw it the other day at Tower, Tower Rock Trailhead or whatever, Ohio River Overlook. But uh, it was funny because they put up a, a time lapse of it. Oh, they did? And uh, I'm pretty sure uh, there was eight or nine people taking turns of digging on it. This sign? <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. And, uh, and it's rocky, they said, and they're like chipping away at it. And uh, people were making fun of them on there and then thanking them. For volunteering but <laughs> that's pretty good i like that yeah they were talking about how that's government work and it's stuff a like nice that. sign very nice sign yep well danielle and i are pretty excited because we got some big news coming for the channel i don't know what i'll i want to say but well you can say whatever you want it's pretty exciting whatever yeah. you want to tell him you tell him yeah but if you're excited about something i'm pretty excited then you should talk yeah. about it now it's about the uh theme song for our channel that I wrote called I'm Just an Old Hobo. One of uh, the other YouTubers who's got a really big following and some of his videos have over a million views and uh, we found out, you know, that they like our, uh, they like my channel and the songs and really awesome. They're really cool, like-minded people too that travel. But they asked to, you know, they asked to collaborate with us so, you know, maybe a while. I'm excited. They, they really, they want to work with us and do a video with my music. So that was pretty cool to be asked to do that. Yeah, it's awesome. And, uh, you know trying to keep it a secret until it gets a little further along but uh, you know i couldn't help it because we're pretty excited about it yeah so, but pretty cool yeah that uh my music's getting noticed by other people and they like it because i like writing my songs and uh it's cool to write one that other people can relate to and yeah check it out uh, the video's down there it's uh i'm just an old hobo that i wrote so pretty awesome couldn't help but uh stop spit all that out real quick because we're excited so let's hike the up the Tower Rock. <laughs> now all you children listen to me. I'm just a hobo and I gotta be free. When you get tired of doing what they tell you to. Go picking pawpaws and putting them in a basket. Yeah, Danielle found a pawpaw patch. Oh, I see a pawpaw. Yeah, there's a pawpaw up there. There's a, some more. Oh, nice. That's a big one. Yeah. <laughs> pawpaws are kind of like uh, mangoes. They're related to tropical fruits, and they call them Indiana banana. But. Uh, <laughs> yeah, these are in fruit. That's so exciting. Yeah. Yeah, man, pawpaws are so cool. They have uh, these huge tropical looking leaves, and they have an awesome black flower and uh, along about April here and then big banana shaped fruit kind of look like a mango yeah there's a couple there a couple little ones but they won't be ripe for a couple months September probably and they're best when they fall off the tree but you can ripen them on the shelf too for a few days and you pick them by just going and shaking the tree yeah gently shake the little tree and ones that fall out are ready to go and you got to beat the wildlife to them because they love them too in fact, you know what? Leave them for the wildlife. Shame on you. Go buy a Chiquita banana. Just kidding. Picking up pawpaws, putting them in the basket. Picking up pawpaws, putting them in the basket. Picking up pawpaws, putting them in the basket. Way down yonder in the pop pop patch. There's an old one for you.
Ah, I like it. You know what I say, who needs a shower when you've got the breeze? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense, but. All right, we're approaching the top. This uh, is a very short trail. It doesn't have to be a long trail to be an adventure. And we've really enjoyed it so far. And it doesn't have to be a long trail to see uh, a lot of beauty. Uh, we're, we're loving this trail. It's 0.15 miles long, so. So this is Tower Rock here. Not trying to marry you, is he? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Help. Help. Today the hike has arrived safely back at the van. Drone footage. Drone footage. Cue the drone footage. Oh, we wish, man. We dream drones. Drone dream. Someday, we may. Look at all the butterflies. Look at all the butterflies, guys. Butterflies at the van. Butterfly convention out here, Daniel? Yeah, you know what that means. Oh, they love pee and poop? Yeah. That's why they call them butterflies. Why they call them butterflies? <laughs> That's a silly way to say it, but I'm a little silly. And we made it back to the van, and we're gonna go on to another cool place and do some more day hikes, man. This is fun. So check it out. Yeah, weather's clearing up. Yeah. Oh, you have a butterfly on your head. <laughs> butterfly on my head. Oh no, it bit me. Fisherman, hmm? yeah. Stories are amazing. Just a joking. I'm not perfect. I have flaws like everybody else, even politicians. <laughs> Stay and, on uh, YouTube. Stay away from Facebook. Yeah, That's I know. My advice. Yeah. But check me out on Instagram. Trying to get some viral videos up. It's a novel virus. What are you talking about? <laughs>